Hmm. This is my whiteboard. Okay, this car interesting. It can stick, stick inverted commas on a whiteboard. The thing that caused it to stick is the magnet inside here, right? And this whiteboard inside there's a piece of steel. So magnet attract magnetic material, and the magnetic force is strong enough to create a high friction between the wheels and the whiteboard surface. Yeah. So um, in many schools, they say is that when the weight increase, the uh, friction increase. Uh, personally, I don't think it's true because that's only when it's horizontal. When it's vertical, when the weight increase, the friction actually become lesser. But the strong magnetic force will cause a press. It presses this rubber surface to the whiteboard surface. When this force is strong enough, the friction will increase. Uh, we call it the normal force. When it's slipping down, the friction is not strong enough. Okay, like that will do. Okay, so uh, I'll use the word normal force, but primary school don't use that. So let me take a look at here. Right? When the normal force is strong between, normal force means the ninety degrees force acting perpendicular to the surface and this force is caused by the magnetic force when this is strong the friction will be strong right you create a press between this surface and this surface um, yep. in many primary schools they will say that the weight of the object will increase the frictional force as the weight increase the frictional force increase but uh, that is not true uh, not completely true. So uh, let's see what the school teacher says. There's this uh, piece of paper. There's this surface. Now it's easy to move because this paper, the weight is not high, it's low. So it's very easy to pull. But what happens if I add uh, some weights here on top? Right? It will increase the weight of this paper and now it's difficult to move. Right, so the concept of weight increased friction here is true. So, what I want to uh, explain here is this surface here and this surface here. If we look under microscope, there'll be humps. Right, this is the paper and this is the table. So, what happens is when they are together. The paper surface will interlock with the table surface and so it's difficult to move to this side because of the interlock and this is what we meant by friction. This thing create an obstruction. Right? When it's obstructing, you create friction. Now, what happens is when I apply, I put the weight on top of the paper. Right? Analogy is this thing will go in. You create a deeper contact so it's more difficult to move yes but now we have an equipment here right to show that it's not true right this particular car has got two magnet here right let's put it on a vertical surface right this is a whiteboard vertical whiteboard and this is a car so if now I if this is heavy right it should drop down there isn't any friction. So the, the weight doesn't create any friction. Right? But now it's the magnetic force that's going to attract the steel plates inside here. And that will cause a friction. Right? What happens is the magnetic force here will attract to the steel plate inside. And then there will be an interlock. Create the friction. And therefore it doesn't move down. It doesn't slide down because the friction is high. Because it's not because of weight now, it's because of a magnetic force. Right? So when we are looking at the friction, how it increases which force increases friction, we shouldn't look at the weight, we should look at the normal force. We call it the normal force in, in, in a higher level, which is 90 degrees to this surface, right? 
a normal force that's 90 degrees per surface that pre presses against the two surfaces and this is the force that creates the friction right the stronger this force the higher the friction 